Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is 2 John. The elder to the chosen lady and her children, whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all who know the truth, for the sake of the truth which abides in us and will be with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. I was very glad to find some of your children walking in truth, just as we have received commandment to do from the Father. Now I ask you, lady, not as though I were writing to you a new commandment, but the one which we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love, that we walk according to His commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, that you should walk in it. For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is the deceiver and the antichrist. Watch yourselves, that you do not lose what we have accomplished, but that you may receive a full reward. Anyone who goes too far and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. The one who abides in the teaching, he has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house and do not give him a greeting. For the one who gives him a greeting participates in his evil deeds." Though I have many things to write to you, I do not want to do so with paper and ink. But I hope to come to you and speak face to face so that your joy may be made full. The children of your chosen sister greet you. Many people say, I love God, to express good feelings about the Lord. But Jesus taught that only those who obey God's commands truly love Him. So, what are some actions that show that we love God? Pray often. Jesus taught that frequent prayer is essential to the Christian life. However, when those of us who are believers pray with wrong motives, ones that center around what we want rather than what God wants, we're not expressing affection for Him. True prayer seeks to determine God's mind in order to carry out His agenda. This kind of prayer accompanied by an obedient response, says, I love you, to God. Read the Bible regularly. Since Jesus stated that obeying Him is the natural outcome of loving Him, it's essential that Scripture reading be accompanied by application. Otherwise, we're just hearers of the Word, as we read in James 1, verse 22. Serve at church and in the community. If we ourselves choose how to serve instead of obeying the Lord's direction, our efforts are simply good works rather than an expression of love to Him. God's love for us was demonstrated through the sending of His Son, Jesus. Our compliance to the Heavenly Father's will reveals how deeply we care about Him. Take steps each day to show God your love. 